After release of Fire and Fury, Melania gets brutal revenge on author who lied about Trump. Michael Wolff's new tell-all book about the Trump administration is losing credibility fast. After lying about President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania, the dishonest author is sorely regretting his attention-grabbing move, because Melania just got the best revenge. Melania Trump is firing back against salacious claims made by author Michael Wolff in his new book Fire and Fury. Excerpts of the book were first made public last Wednesday, and they included a snippet that stated the First Lady was so upset that her husband won the presidency she shed tears of sadness on election night. This book is clearly going to be sold in the bargain fiction section, said Stephanie Grisham, Melania's communications director, after the excerpt was released last week. Mrs. Trump supported her husband's decision to run for president and in fact, encouraged him to do so. She was confident he would win and was very happy when he did, Grisham added. Grisham doubled down on her missive of the book a couple days later, telling CNN, the book is a work of fiction. It is a long-form tabloid that peddles false statements and total fabrications about Mrs. Trump. In short, it's irresponsible and yet another journalist looking to profit off the Trump family and this administration. Freedom of speech does not mean the freedom to tell lies, Grisham added on behalf of her boss. Perhaps one day she will tell her own truthful story, but until then Mrs. Trump is focused on her role as First Lady. As it turns out, Melanie is not the only one debunking the salacious and factually inaccurate claims Wolf makes in his new book. Cindy Adams, who stood right next to Trump as the election results poured in last November, revealed in a Monday column for Page Six that neither she nor any of the other people in the room that night saw Melania tear up as her husband won the White House. A word about literature's latest anti-Trump bark, wrote Adams. Some of us around Donald the very night he was elected have just called one another. I stood alongside him at his headquarters office beginning 9 p.m. as election returns were coming in. His other side, Mike Pence. Flanking me, Chris Christie. Donald's family stood directly behind. Other friends accompanied him later in those early morning hours when he made his acceptance speech at a hotel, she added. None of us, none, not one, not any of us, ever saw, as this bark contends, Melania crying and upset. This lady's very smart. Savvy. Were she teary, which she wasn't, it'd have been either from excitement or if her hairdresser was late. None of us, not one of us, not a single one of us, recall Melania crying, Adams reiterated. And we've phoned one another to confirm. She was always supportive. She gave the race her imprimatur. Melania's smart. Savvy. And sharper than whoever fed this author his dog bowl. So, if none of the individuals who surrounded President Trump and his family on election night saw Melania crying, and they have all called each other to confirm as much, who could Wolf possibly be referring to? He wasn't there. His source clearly was not in the same rooms as Adams, either. So, did he make this crap up? It certainly sounds like it. If Wolf wants to write fiction, he's welcome to do so. There are many authors who enjoy success at crafting stories which are not founded in truth. However, he has no business taking a fictitious story and presenting it as fact. That's called slander, slander, 